My scripture is uh, 1 Corinthians. Chapter 9. There you go. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Netflix, cell phones. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. So we, we do something to obtain an incorruptible crown. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, he said, uh, fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into submission, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Lord, in Jesus' name, your word is anointed. Bless our ears to receive it. We give you all the praise and glory in Jesus' name. Let's give him a hand clap of praise and you can be seated. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Five minutes is very brief. Um, he's, there's another place that says, uh, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They're not flesh. And so Paul here is talking about not as one that beateth the air. Obviously, he saw some boxing. Nothing like boxing and just waving your arms, not connecting. He says, I'm not like that. So I've got to do some connecting in this walk with God that will keep me saved. But we don't really box in the world. I say in the world. Before I was an apostolic Christian... My daddy was a soldier. He, uh, he followed uh, General Patton in Germany. And then he uh, was in the largest naval battle of the Vietnam War. Front row seat, got the Medal of Valor. So my dad was a soldier. And for his uh, raising us up, we got, you know, old school soldierly parenthood. <laughs> if you ain't bleeding anywhere, shut up. Really? Yeah. I got my teeth knocked out. My mother's freaking out. My dad says, come on in the kitchen, boy. He goes, yep, 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 yep. All right. He can handle it. Mom's lost her mind. My dad was missing the same teeth, by the way. <laughs> Didn't fall far from the tree, did I? Anyway, he passed on soldierly things to me that were carnal. But there was wisdom in it, but you have to understand that all this warfare talk in the Bible, like put on the whole armor of God, these are metaphors, illustrations, that what we do in the spirit, amen. I want to leave with a good spiritual illustration, but uh, sometimes these little uh, earthly anecdotes uh, people get a kick out of. My dad taught us how to make a fist. Kids put their thumbs in all kinds of places, you know, tuck them in. No, no, no. Dad was, you know, teaching us how to go out in the world. You got to know how to ball up your fist. You got to make it hard. You can't just leave it limp. You got to squeeze it hard so it's hard. So he passed it on to my little sister, the baby. We did. She had three older brothers. Believe it or not, she was a rodeo girl. She went all the way, handled the big horses and all that stuff. She could do it. She was then out on a date. Some guy got a little fresh. Next day, we understand she bloodied his nose. He didn't ask her out no more, but she sure could take care of herself. One night, I come home from uh, wild living. My sister was in the kitchen. We're, that's where we all ended up after we was crazy. And I was doing something, sassing with my sister back and forth. She punched me in the stomach, doubled me right over. I was laughing, but I, she put me, doubled me over. I said, goodness, girl. That's being raised by a soldier. Now, in the, in the spirit, our women still need to be able to take care of themselves just like the men do. Yeah. Amen. But it's not carnal. Jesus, in his last moments, he's got his, his men all around. And he's, he's wanting to give them 
what they want to call the Great Commission. He's, he's setting them up. I'm going to be gone. Here's my instructions. But strangely enough, in that episode, Lucifer enters one of them. A couple of them are wanting to know who's going to be the preeminent apostle. Who's sitting on your right? Who's sitting on your left? So all of a sudden, all around him, the enemy has infiltrated his men. Jealousy, envy, strife, possession. What does he do? He takes off his main robe. He grabs a towel. He's going to show warfare. He grabs a towel, girds a towel around himself. And he begins to wash their feet. The king, the creator, they knew he was a creator, has kneeled down before his creation and begin to wash their feet. What a humble thing. There's people that won't come to foot washing because it's so humble. What? There is nothing more, more disgustingly than feet. Those big old bunions and calluses and twisted toes. You can be beautiful as all get out, and then the feet. Oh my. The humility of a rose of Sharon, the beauty. Now, this is warfare. He says, and what I am showing you is how you deal with what comes into humanity, which is what we're all infected with. Pride, ego, jealousy, all those things. Somebody, anybody gets a little bump in their, in their uh, bottom line, and, and you can feel your flesh, and, and somebody gets a little bit of acknowledgement in your flesh, and, and, and somebody gets a little this, a little that, or somebody says something praiseworthy to somebody else, your flesh. We've got fallen natures. The pastor preached on it today. I don't care how good you think you are, your nature is your enemy. In my flesh dwelleth no good thing. You've got to subdue it. You've got to crucify it. He's, Paul said, I bring it under. That's weaponry. Oh, somebody say, praise the Lord. And when he got up, he took the towel off. You know, Peter wouldn't do it. He said, if, I, if you don't let me wash your feet, you got no part with me. I'm showing you. I, I've gone through the water. I'm doing this. This is how it's done. To enter into the kingdom of God is not a Ph.D. Everybody wants to be a doctor now. Nothing wrong with that, Sage. But uh, they, they, they've gone past a reverend and elder. Now, now we, everybody's got to be a DR. And see, that's an ego thing. We're proud. But see, that's what you see a lot of. The exaltation. Men and old people, some of them old timers, they, they barely call them elders. That's fine. That's enough. You're known by what you do in the spirit. Oh my God. They're all too serious, too quiet. I better get out the door. Amen. He showed us how to fight the, the good fight. Humble yourself before the mighty hand of God. In Jesus.